Hi everyone, this guide is a user's guide to the accordion. It's intended for beginners who want to know how to store, handle, and position their accordion properly. Uh, I'm going to keep it short so I won't get to everything, but I want to get to the very critical things that you need uh, in order to protect your accordion over time from, from storage. Um, and also basically to, to get an idea of um, how to position yourself for the right technique. So to start, let's say you just got your accordion, um, whether I shipped it to you uh, or you, you purchased it at a store, and basically the first thing you want to know is how to store your accordion when, when you're not playing it. Um, so the first thing is you know, it should really be, you know, if you keep this on a, on a flat surface, not, not necessarily a chair, but I'm, I'm just showing, the case, um, you know, should be upright so that the latches are at the top facing the ceiling. The reason you do that is because um, for most accordions, you also want the accordion itself to be facing upright, and I'll show you what I mean. So. Notice I just took off the latches, uh, and basically I want to I want to open it in such a way that it's the accordion is still in the case. And now I've opened the latch, and I can take the accordion out. Now as I'm taking it out, it's this, it's kind of the opposite of when I put it back in. What you want to do is take it the base side out first. And notice when you're putting it back, you're putting the keys in first, downwards. And then the back, the, the bases go towards the back. The reason you do this is because if you put this in first, you're likely to snag a key and it'll go up. Um, by placing it uh, keys first, you're less likely to actually um, snag a key. So, Next thing is, well, I can um, get it ready to pick up. Now, when I pick it up, I want to avoid picking it up just by the straps. The problem with uh, holding it by the straps is that, especially depending on, um, you know, sometimes with older leather it gets very frail, the straps could break or the um, even the connector to the accordion could come off. And what happens then is your accordion is likely to fall and all it takes is one fall to the ground and uh, it could be uh, irreparably damaged or require a lot of repair. Um, so what I want to do to handle it is basically either, you know, kind of grab one hand here in the, in the, in the uh, bellow strap already to, to give it support. Um, now, normally you don't have to move the case off, but what I'm doing is now I'm sitting, and notice I have control of, of the accordion by basically that, that hand and kind of, you know, holding against the, the frame. So that allows me to, to pick it up without the straps. I mean, I can also use the straps as long as I have a support, so that worst case, if it falls, uh, you know, I have that hand in this side. So next thing is you're putting on the straps and if you notice the straps are positioned usually so that one is facing diagonal out. So it's facing this, this corner and this one is facing the other corner. And what you want to do is just align that with the straps that you would wear. And in particular, um, if, if you're talking about even length straps, notice this, this right one is slightly longer. The reason is you want your left strap to be shorter so that when I put it on, it really hugs my body and it's, it, it really is supporting most of the weight. The right strap is not necessarily uh, going to support the weight, but what it will do is um, 
it, it basically gives you control. So notice, I want a, a somewhat looser strap so I can basically adjust this like a um, like a belt buckle. I can either move this top one or also um, there's notches on on the middle part. So what I want is a comfortable feel where a lot of the weight is kind of on the left strap and the right one allows my arm to be free. The other thing is, notice when I'm sitting, <coughs> I want the, a lot of the weight um, to really be rested on my left leg. And the reason is because if I have it like this, which is kind of a, the rookie mistake, if you do this, um, when your bellows open, you're, you're going to be rubbing them on your leg um, and they can wear away or it will obstruct opening and, you know, you, the other thing is your hand is going to be back here so you, you won't have control over it. What you want is to check alignment of keyboard is basically under your face and what that allows you to do is move your hand up and down and, you know, kind of if you think about playing a piano, you want an arch on your hand. Same thing here, you, you, you want that arch of your fingers. And the motion to move up and down is almost like a, a flapping, like if you think about a, a bird flapping a wing. So what you want to do is keep your arm um, somewhat outward. It doesn't have to be uncomfortably, you know, rigid. But keep it outward so you have control over all the keys. Uh, what not to do is what I call the claw. So basically, if your hand is, uh, if your if your elbow is just right back and your your wrist is uh, kind of a, a right angle, you're going to develop wrist problems over time. And also, you really don't have as much flexibility. You can't move as quick. You use your wrist more, and it gets an awkward position. So you really want to keep that arm out um, for good technique. Um, now, notice I haven't even unlatched the bellows. Um, but when I do that, I want to make sure to unlatch both. Um, you don't ever want to unlatch the top one and not the bottom one, because a lot of times what happens is your bottom latch will break off or twist, and you need to get it replaced. So take them both off. Um, you know, you can connect them to the alternate um, placeholders. What you do now is, you know, notice the bellows don't really open very much when I'm not pushing anything, uh, which means that they're tight bellows. And you want tight bellows because otherwise, uh, if you're wasting air, it makes you work harder and you don't get as full of a sound. And you don't get control over the bellows. Now, left hand goes in the hand strap. You have a wheel on top of your accordion to tighten or um, loosen the strap. What you want to do is pick a, you know, a tightness of that strap such that your palm can rest firmly against the accordion, but you still have the ability to move up and down. So if it's too tight, you won't be able to move, really, especially um, you know, you want to, You don't have to necessarily move all the way to the top because you're, you're, you can change your wrist a little bit. Same thing with the bottom. But it should allow you to move, you know, somewhat up and down, and that should be comfortable. If it's um, if it's too loose, however, the problem is you're going to end up, um, you know, when you pull out, you're not going to be connected to the accordion. You you want your palm to always be between the strap and the accordion. Um, and the reason is because you don't want your hand to be moving. You want your palm to be stationary. It wants to be, you know, fixed, like almost glued to the accordion. If you can imagine your hand is glued to the accordion, the advantage of that is that it allows you to use consistent fingering for your left hand. So by having your, your palm kind of glued there when it opens or closes, you're basically saying that you're going to use the same fingers each time uh, on the base side. 